finished my bookshelves. So this is them. I will turn you around and I will show you what I'm planning on doing. Okay, so over here is my classics. Um, I do also have more classics in my office. I've got all of my special editions in my office. But these are just the other classics. And then my very, very treasured um, Peter Rabbit box, which I've had. My mum got it when I was like a newborn. Um, and they're beautiful hardcover books. So I didn't really want to put them down where my kids could get them. So they're up there as well because they're classics. My Kate Morton collection. I have every single one of her books. I've still got to read the last book that she wrote. Um, but I have read all of these and I've really liked them. She's my favourite author and she lives or came from um, a town about half hour drive from me. So that's really special. These are our other series. So of course we've got Harry Potter in the Hufflepuff edition because that is me and these also have the most gorgeous sprayed edges so those there um my husband's witcher collection which i bought him and then i've got my um alan lee special edition um, Lord of the Rings copies they are all illustrated and we have I have tried to read out of them and my husband has tried to read out of them and they're very hard because they're very big very heavy very awkward so I've also got um, just our paperbacks which is actually what we read from and sometimes we'll look at the images from there um, this is a combination actually this shelf will grow this is going to be a fiction shelf and I want this to be in rainbow but until i sort the rest of this out properly and you'll see why that is soon um but up until i've just chucked the hobbit down here because he didn't really fit but this is kind of all of our fiction random bits of fiction and this will grow at the end of every year so on this below shelf here i've got my red books for the year in order that i have read them and that is, hopefully I'm going to be able to leave this shelf for that. Um, these are all of our biographies, autobiographies and memoirs. So I'm hoping that these will eventually go into my husband's office once I can sort that out. And then this will be my red shelf for the year. Um, and I'm hoping that my TBR, which are these two shelves, won't be this big so that then brings us back to here this is my husband's Isaac Asimov collection every time I find an Isaac Asimov book that we don't own I buy it for him and I was gonna put the foundation series we've got the foundation series here these ones these ones we've got two of the original foundation book um, I was gonna put them with the other series but I can't, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I was kind of planning on maybe putting our series up along here. Um, but you'll see in a minute why I've moved them. So I've just kept all of the Isaac Asimov books together. Because similar to my Kate Morton collection, he has a collection for Isaac Asimov. Uh, as mentioned before, this is my TBR and this is in alphabetical order. So once I read a book, it'll be going over here. And hopefully this will grow and <laughs> this will get shorter. Um, the Cartographers is not in alphabetical order because that is the book club um, pick for August. So that's just there waiting to be read. And then, of course, I've got my TBR jar here. And these bookshelves are a little bit bigger than my other ones because before I could not actually fit all of my TBR like this way I had them all kind of stacked in all different directions so that's good as well down here this is my cookbook shelf and my recipe books here and our wine bible and wine snob <laughs> rating book 
Um, I've also got my foodie journal in here, which sometimes I write if we go to a nice restaurant, but we haven't really because of COVID. Um, so that's that. This shelf down here is currently a bit of a mixture. It's all nonfiction, um, but this is nonfiction as in uh, like business and reference and um, just self-help. And this is one of my favorite books. It's just a collection of photographs from two friends in the US. I took a photo every single morning of the year and they did a collection. Um, so that's that nonfiction. And this nonfiction is, this is travel. So um, we've got some travel guides and I've got a Dutch translation book. And then this is just other like random stuff. So I've got an illustrated mass dictionary that I kept, that was one of my textbooks for uni. Um, <laughs> the Dutch, I presume, icons of the Netherlands, first aid, stain removal, and then a dream book. And then down here, this is kind of like the adult big book section. And this is kind of like the kid big book section, if that makes sense. So we've got a Lonely Planet, a motorcycle, and a fishing Bible. This is all um, display folders of stuff I've collected from various um, trips, or it might be my school certificates and stuff. Um, this one is my plan of my big trip in 2009. I kept all the information and all the tickets and everything. And then my husband got given this when he used to work at the turf club. Um, so that's that side. And then on this side, I've just got some coffee table books, um, that we were gifted from some friends in Holland. This is where my husband grew up. So we've got one of those, um, a Spanish Dutch to Spanish book, because that makes sense. When my husband was in Spain studying Spanish before they moved to Australia. Um, and then I've got all my King Folk fake and serial magazines that I collected nearly 10 years ago, 2013 and 2014. Uh, Hello May from the year that we got married. And then a Spaces, Frankie Spaces book. And then I've also got um, a family history book there, which I won't show you because it is personal. And then on this side, we've got some, both in Dutch and in English, but we've got some like, what are they called? Movie, visual dictionaries or movie annuals. So we've got Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, Jurassic Park. Uh, my mum got that for me when I was in grade two because we were learning about dinosaurs. <laughs> I've never watched Jurassic Park, just letting you know, but she bought me the Jurassic Park annual because I had photos and information about dinosaurs in it. Um, and then these are a couple of my very treasured books from when I was little. So a Kate Greenway nursery rhyme classics, Tales from Grimm, a um, illustrated children's dictionary, which I actually used to look at a lot when I was a kid. And then a big book of fairy tales, which is one of my most treasured possessions um, beside my Beatrix Potter collection. And then these are just bits from my kids' kindy paintings and stuff. This shelf is kids' books. Um, so I've got some classics here as well. A Christmas Carol, Thomas the Tank Engine, uh, all the Ronald Dahl, and then just some other bits over there. And then our clubs. This is my middle grade collection that I've not donated away. Um, I have a whole pile of like Goosebumps books that I donated to um, like Vinnie's or the Salvos or something. Um, but this is all my middle grades. So my Artemis Fowl, Del Toro Quest. If you remember this, let me know. This was like my favorite series when I was a kid. And then the second del toro quest trilogy and then some charlie bone books just annoying by andy griffiths if you grew up in the late 90s in australia you probably knew what that was um tales beetle and the bard and then i've got a children's version of the phantom of the opera which i read a lot when i was a kid and then over here is the ya that i had kept so i had to do an assignment for tomorrow when the war began in grade 
10 maybe and it is a seven part series so i have kept those when i was collecting them when i was a kid i made sure that i got all of the ones that matched so all the spines have the barbed wire and the little burst there and then our philip pullman his dark materials every man's library collection there so that is my bookshelf so classics collection series tbr uh collection fiction read biographies memoirs cooking non-fiction large coffee table books and specialty magazines large children's books and movie things children's middle grade and ya if you have any questions let me know i'll just give you a really quick little go over my tbr now that it is easier to see if you have any questions about how we did this let us know or let me know rather but i hope that you've enjoyed this little video and i'll see you in my next one bye